G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back for another episode of Wasteland Survival. So, I think today I'm going to finish off this hangar. Um, now, I haven't had a chance to read the comments of the last video purely because I'm recording this video before the other one's actually released, well, starting anyway. Uh, so, I'm going to make the decision and probably go with this setup here um, throughout the entire hangar. So see yeah these blocks here so I'm gonna replace all of them um, but in between the last episode and this one I did actually make a few modifications to the rest of the base so if we head on into one of these rooms I'll just show you what I've done uh, which one of these rooms is actually occupied now to be this one so here we have the medical room and basically what I've gone ahead and done is just uh, replace the color behind these blocks with the light gray so I think it gives it a little bit of a better look it it has just a little bit more contrast so I think I'm pretty happy with that look so I've gone ahead and I've done that in every single room throughout the base or at least all the ones with the pillars in them obviously we don't have a room here or there so yeah that's pretty much what I've been busy doing all right now let's get started with actually changing this stuff over now, as I mentioned in the last episode, I am really tempted to move this pillar over to about here um, so that the edge of the pillar meets up with the side of the wall. Um, even though it won't be the same distance between here and here and there and there, I still think it would look better than what it does currently. I think it just looks a mm, just doesn't really look that great being up against this wall here and I can't really move this wall back because you know the doors here and then it will just look flat and boring so all right well let's get started with that
Okay, so that is everything done. Now, what I decided to do was just make this side flat. I'm still not sure if I like that idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just have to see how it goes and um, maybe I'll change it to this style here on that side as well. But I think it looks a little bit better just being, yeah, given the fact that it's going up against a wall here. Or maybe I could even um, do it the opposite way. So uh, maybe we could do something like, I don't know, maybe something like this. Uh, we'll grab one of these ones and then grind this out. And we could do something like that. I don't know. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but what I do need to do is move these lights here. So probably just going to move them one block further forward. Um, although I don't believe I have the materials to do so. So let's um, all right, let's uh, grab some materials for those. And I'll just place in three lights. All right. Well, I've gone ahead. I've reconfigured these lights. And um, actually, I think it looks pretty good because this area here is a little bit darker than it was before. Um, so I think it looks a little bit nicer. Also, what I went ahead and done is uh, I took the liberty of going with this design here at the back just to see what it would look like. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think it doesn't look too bad. Although, yeah, I don't know if I'm completely sold on the idea. So... Uh, yeah, we'll just play it by ear, see what happens. Um, the only other thing I want to do inside this room is go ahead and move this sensor. So before I do that though, I'll just quickly copy down all the settings here. Alright, well I've copied down all these settings, but... Well, I've just taken a screenshot of them for later reference. But the problem is, um, because I'm going to move this sensor over to here, I think what I'm going to have to do is reduce the left extent which is that way uh, I'm gonna have to reduce that by 2.5 and then no sorry increase that to 2.5 and then reduce this to 2.5 uh, yeah by 2.5 to 2.5 and then reduce this or increase this to 17.5 all right well I've gone ahead and I've configured that so let's just see if this actually works um, Okay, so it is kind of working. Alright, so now it pressurizes. So now when I go into the sensor's field of range, which should be the same as what it was before. Uh, come on, is this going to pressurize? It's taken a while. Okay, there we go. So now it should start depressurizing the room. And then open the doors in a moment. Let's see if I've actually configured this right. Yep, and there we go, and these are set to depressurize, I think. Hmm. I might need to play around with that a little bit, but... Oh, well, close enough. <laughs> okay, so now I need to modify these pillars outside here. So I want these to be about the same as what they are inside. So we'll get started with that process now.
Okay, well everything is pretty much finished and yeah, I think I'm liking this uh, this whole setup so far. There is a little bit of a problem that I've kind of run into though, uh, and well, and that is this final pillar here. So this pillar here really kind of matches the one inside. So if we just kind of wait for the door to open, you'll see what I mean in a second. So yeah, uh, this pillar here is the same as this pillar here. So everything is hunky-dory there. This pillar looks pretty good, but this pillar here, if I am to make these beam blocks gray like I have done for these ones here, then obviously you're going to kind of see that on the outside here. And even then the skin for these is like kind of totally different to the skin uh, for these regular armor blocks. So I don't really know what to do about that. I've got a couple of different options really. I mean. Really what I could do is I could move this pillar in by one block and move this pillar in by one block and then put in some blocks behind that. But then this pillar would not match that pillar. I could just kind of move this pillar in without moving that pillar, but then it would look weird. Um, I could also just leave these this color, which kind of looks weird from this angle here. So the other option I have, I guess, is I could extend the hanger by an additional block um, but then I would need to move these things here as well the beam blocks so I'm not really too keen to do that either um, although I do think kind of an alternative solution would be to add some half blocks that go all the way up here or I guess another solution would be I could use these blocks here these armor panels and then just cover these blocks here but I wouldn't be able to do that because these blocks are here so yeah I don't know I'm really not sure I think I might go I don't really want to lengthen the hanger because it's not going to be an easy task what I'll do is I'm gonna build a control seat and I'll just have a look at these lights that are sitting up on the roof here Alright, so, got me control seat. What I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to disable these, these lights here um, that are outside. So, I believe these are called hangar external lights. Yep, so, I believe it is 3 to 6. So, I'll just turn those off and then back on. And you can see that the, the lights up here aren't really doing a great deal so I can just go ahead and get rid of those and not really worry about it too much so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get rid of them because they're not really doing too much anyway and perhaps I could add a third spotlight here that kind of points down and lights up this area here or maybe I could put in some lights on along the floor I'm not too sure about that but um, yeah I don't know these lights aren't really doing much, so I think we should be pretty good to get rid of them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just some of these half slopes up here. And then on this side, I probably want to just put in some slabs. So, put some slabs there, maybe a slab there as well. And then, if we look at the new blocks that they added in the last update, they actually go across these blocks here so we can use these new blocks to do something like that uh, and then we can go like that then we can put in a block like this and then a block like just these light armor corner tips and then we'll just need another one of the new blocks but obviously the other way around and we'll place that there like that and then across the top here I can just place in these blocks here like this and then underneath here I can just put in the uh, half slope corner blocks where are we yeah these ones here so those blocks there and then we can kind of build this all the way around and then what we can do is we could probably also get rid of these 
Uh, I believe that is attached to that, so I should be safe to grind that away. And then we could place in just these little tips here again. So we could do something like that. And then we could place in another block here. So uh, which one do I need? I think it's one of the new blocks. Yeah, so we could use this block here to do that. And then I could just replicate that entire design. So let's weld this up while keeping the light posts here and then just see how it looks. Okay, yeah, I think that actually looks pretty good. And then I have the option now of recoloring these beam blocks to this color. So we can just go ahead and change them to that color. And get in here to get that one, this one, and this one. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So from the outside, we have our dirty armor texture. And then from the inside, we have our nice gray beam block texture that we've got throughout the rest of the base. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Although, hmm, I really didn't want to get rid of these lights, but I don't see any other option other than maybe extending the hanger out by one entire block and then leaving the front of it completely flat. Um, but I think, you know, this gives it just a little bit more shape and it looks a little bit nicer. I'm really enjoying these new blocks that they added into the game. You just wouldn't be able to do things like this before and now things like this is possible. So it's, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So, all right, well, let's get this done. Alright, fantastic. So everything is now done and honestly, I think this looks really good. I may even go ahead and implement that design down here onto the front of this main garage. So yeah, perhaps I'll do that as well. Although, maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it the way it is because I've got these stairs here and everything like that. So that would just be kind of a massive, massive change. So, I don't know if I really want to go ahead and do that, but I mean, yeah, I don't think I've really lost that much light, and I do think that it is going to look a lot better. So, alright, uh, let's go ahead and change the color of these blocks then. Okay, everything is colored in, everything is looking pretty sweet, got my spotlights sorted out. Right, so now I think it's time that we finally get to the Atlas and actually get rid of some of these hydrogen tanks and make way for some refineries. Now, the one thing that I'm really concerned about is, well, let's go outside first and have a look at this. So, these thrusters here, they are pretty much feeding directly off the hydrogen tanks. You can kind of see the hydrogen tanks there. So I don't know how I'm going to get the refineries to connect to those thrusters and still kind of be functional. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. And I really hope that they are airtight on the sides. So I think you can see a thruster there. Yeah, and it, it's still pretty strange how this is airtight, but, you know, the other arrangement isn't. That's kind of bizarre. And then we have these tanks here. And then I believe 
up here with these tanks, they are actually connected to the guns that sit on the top. So I'm really going to have to think about where I'm going to put these refineries. Alright, well, I think I've figured out exactly where I'm going to put these hydrogen tanks. So I've decided not to place them here, and there's a pretty good reason for that. Um, first of all, I have the thrusters here at the bottom. And then also up there, attached to these, I've got um, weapons, things like that. And then in front of these here, or in front of there, I've basically got my connectors as well. So I don't really want to mess around with these tanks too much because honestly, it's just going to be too much work to fit them in there. The other thing is as well that, uh, well, if I was to place my refineries here, I'd have to have like one side facing me or I would need to place them kind of like this. Um, so where's my refinery here? So um, it's probably going to be hard, but I'd have to face them like that way um, or that way or put it like that so that it's like um, symmetrical. So yeah, I kind of like to make things symmetrical if I can. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to put them in here back in the engine bay and it kind of makes sense for them to be here because it just gives it a little bit more detail um, now I was toying with the idea of placing them up here but the problem is I've got this pipe that kind of connects connects to this tank which then feeds the engines on the sides on the side pods underneath um, and then above or the next hydrogen tank has an air vent and so does the one behind that so the only real option I've got is to place them down on the floor here. So I was thinking um, I will do this one and this one and I'll show you why. So I'm going to use the spectator camera. It's a tool that I don't really use too often in survival because, you know, I kind of believe if it's survival, then it should be survival. And so here we are in the front room and you can kind of see all the weapons that are attached to these um, hydrogen tanks and just like how important they are to getting everything else connected in the ship so here is really kind of off limits and then if I go down to the floor here you can kind of see what I mean with these thrusters as well so what I'll do is I'll head on to the back of the ship here and we'll scoot on into the floor and as I, I think I mentioned this before, but I would like to add some additional thrusters that connect to the bottom of these tanks just to give the ship just that little bit more power. So by adding in four thrusters here, so one, two, three, four, and then potentially another one here and another one here, you know, I could probably get another oh, 400,000 kilos worth of lifting power on Earth gravity. So yeah i definitely think that's something i'm going to do so what i've decided to do is get rid of this tank because i can't attach anything to the bottom of it because the landing gear is there and then additionally this tank is pretty much in the same scenario as that one over there because this conveyor port is kind of blocked by this landing gear as well so right now the next thing i need to think about is how i'm going to get the hydrogen just from these well, this tank, this tank, this tank, and this tank, and then transport that into the base hydrogen tanks that I just built. So I'm going to get rid of... Ooh, I nearly ground this down. So I'm going to name this one... I'm just going to put empty in front of it. So I'll do that for all four of these tanks. Okay, so those tanks are renamed. So what I'll do now is I will just make sure that every single O2 H2 generator I've got is actually turned off. Right, so let's... Um, okay. So the other thing I need to do is I actually need to turn off every single hydrogen tank in the base. Okay, so what I was thinking was turning off all these tanks uh, so that uh, hydrogen would only flow from the tanks that I want to empty out of the Atlas but I think instead what I'll do is I will set every single tank to stockpile and then when I want to transfer 
the fuel, I'll just set these ones to stockpile off and then all the fuel should drain out of these and then go into the industrial hydrogen tanks. So alright, let's give this a go. Alright, fantastic. So everything is set up. So now I've set all of the tanks in the base and everywhere else to be set to stockpile. So when I go ahead and disable stockpile for the tanks that I want to empty, then the industrial hydrogen tanks should then pull the fuel from those into the tanks. So let's give this a shot. Um, I think I will grab my industrial tanks here. So industrial tanks probably one through four. One, two, three, four. Um, I will turn these on. And let's see if they are filling. No, they are not. Okay, so let's set these to stockpile, which they already are. And then what I'll do is I'll find my hydrogen tanks that I want to empty, which will be these ones that I put empty in front of. So these ones. And I will turn stockpile off. And then these should empty. And then my industrial hydrogen tanks should then fill up numbers one through four. So we've got all of our fuel transferring across. Energy low. Hopefully I've done this right. And they actually fill up to 100%. Because then it means I've done everything correctly. Hmm. That is interesting. So I wonder why... So these are completely empty. I wonder why I lost fuel when I did that. Unless there is an amount that you lose by doing so. That's strange. I wonder where the other fuel went. So I lost, what, 3% uh, fuel? Ah, oh, well, not really too concerned about that. It's 3% fuel across four tanks. It's not a big deal. All right, so now we can actually go ahead and grind these things out. So I'll go in through this door because it's just a little bit closer to where we want to be. And as you can see, these two tanks here are now empty. So let's um, get rid of all the materials I have on myself. Inventory and of full. course, these are going to have a lot of materials in them. So this is going to take me a little while. Inventory full. All right, cool. So that's Inventory everything full. ground away. Now we can start placing in our refineries, although these refineries are going to take some resources to build. I think it's a good thing that I'm adding additional thrusters to this ship as well because yeah like these refineries are going to take quite a bit of resources to actually build. Um, these are only two blocks tall so maybe I'll flip it around that way. So I want to place it around about there. So let's um, grab the components for this. Now I've gone ahead and I've disabled Bob because I don't want Bob to weld these things up for me. Because, uh, as I said before, I kind of want to make that stuff a manual process. Um, kind of give myself a little bit of a restriction in this game. So, that's basically where they are going to sit. And then, we can just simply run a pipe between these here. So, let's get these welded up. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Alright, so... Now I just need to go ahead and put in these modules. So I'm going to go for, I may put in a speed module there. Right, let's place one there, one there, and the same thing here. And then I'll place my yield modules in the middle. But which way do I want the pipe to go? I think I might place them like that. I reckon that looks the best. So we'll place them there. And it is a little bit, it looks a little bit more snug than it did before. Because obviously the tanks have this kind of curve. So you can kind of walk in between them. Um, but still, I think it doesn't look too bad. Alright, so let's get these welded up and then connect these two things together. And then I think I might place in some blocks to kind of hide all this stuff. But we'll see how we go. Alright, well this one's pretty much done. Although it's missing one steel plate. <laughs> which is a little bit annoying. 
Actually, I think I was missing a steel plate or two from here. Nah, that's all done. Okay, so, yeah, I think this looks okay. It does look a little bit crowded, but I don't know. I suppose I could spin the refineries around and it might look a little bit less crowded. But, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So, now I just need to run a pipe in between these two here. I think, honestly, what I'm going to do here is just use the original conveyor junctions or pipes. Maybe I can use one of these um, reinforced conveyor tubes. I could just do that, something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I could do that. I don't know. Um, hmm. Which way do I do it? Yeah, I'm... I don't know. Decisions, decisions. We'll give it a go. We'll see what it looks like. I am really tempted just to cover everything up though. Because um, I don't really want these pipes to be visible. So we can um, potentially do that as well. Although I need to find a block that will kind of transition between this point here, like this square, to this kind of being a little bit round. So I don't know what block I would need to use for that. Um, but first, let's actually withdraw some steel plates and see what we can do um, and none of this really matters too much but it would mean that it would look just that little bit nicer so we could do something like that I suppose um, actually I would like to go with maybe a 2 by one tip here and then maybe something that kind of goes inwards on the bottom but yeah, I'd have to use a 2 by one tip there as well. So, we'd have to go something like that. Uh, I don't love it. I don't know. I'll figure something out for that. But, one of the good things about placing in these uh, refineries is I have another level worth of access here. So, I can play around with this sort of stuff. And I could potentially put a set of stairs that come down from this point here to here. Um, I could put in a catwalk that goes across then like this. Um, and then also what I could do to try and hide these conveyor ports a little bit is I could potentially put in some beam blocks here. So we could do something like, um, I don't know, maybe like this. So grab those ones, put those in there. And then do the same on this side as well. So we could do something like that. And then it just looks like things are a little bit more well supported. Gives it a little bit more of an industrial feeling. So yeah, I'm actually half inclined to go with that idea. Although it would make the whole catwalk thing a little bit more complex. And would I be able to get a set of stairs down here? I could actually still do that going this way and then connecting to a catwalk that goes across here hmm I'm actually liking this um hmm I would really like to figure this out but I think for the moment let's figure out our catwalk situation alright let's grab some uh, components for some catwalks here alright well we have some components for catwalks now the original reason why I never placed catwalks over these um, O2 H2 generators was simply for the fact that I didn't want to cover them so that I could go ahead and repair them but I don't know I think I may just place in some catwalks because it's pretty easy to grind them down and just repair what you need to when you want to so maybe we'll just go ahead and put in some catwalks anyway alright so there is where I'll have my catwalk crossing over so I'll leave that one free I will place a catwalk here um, another catwalk here, catwalk here, and a catwalk here. And then here, I will just put in a catwalk with a single railing. So, one like that, and like that. Then I need to find my double railing catwalk, which will be this guy. Place that there. And then we can place another catwalk here that kind of goes over. Except need to grind that out grab a set of stairs and place a set of stairs 
Is it there? Yes, there. And get rid of this catwalk, although I need to weld a couple up to clear my inventory space. And now I should be able to grind this guy. And hopefully I don't grind the wrong thing. And then, place in a catwalk. A right angled catwalk, which is this guy. Place him there. Weld that up. Fantastic. Alright, so things are opened up a little bit more. And then I just need to make this go around these lights because obviously they're going to occupy the same space. So, uh, I'll grab a right angle catwalk, which will be... Oh man, these half catwalks being in the game, they're awesome, but... Damn, it makes the menu just that little bit more complex. Uh, so we could place in catwalk that goes across here like so and I think that looks pretty good it fills the space a little bit rather than there being a boring um, empty space I kind of like the interior to be populated and I'm really liking these beam blocks although they don't really line up there they do really line up there quite well so I'm pretty happy with how that turned out and then, yeah, we have a catwalk to traverse all the way to the other side. I could even place another catwalk on this side as well that goes across here. But I kind of feel like it would be redundant at that point. So, all right, well, I'm going to replicate all of this stuff onto the other side, get it all welded up, and then we will see what it looks like when it is totally finished. Alright, so the catwalk maze is now complete. I suppose I could add to this maze and put another catwalk that goes this way and then connects up to that so you, you've got like two avenues to go down. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll think about that because yeah, it is getting a little bit crazy with the catwalks. Uh, okay, so let's sort out this part here. So. I did actually spend a bit of time just trying different block combinations. Let's place in a 2x1 tip up here. Um, and then down here what we can do, I can place that there and then I can put in its companion block which is this one. And then it kind of goes from this point here and it meets up almost exactly where I wanted it to. So that was a little bit tricky to figure that one out but I think that's going to look the best. Um, it hides the conveyor system. It doesn't look too far out of place. Um, it looks a lot better than that, that's for sure. And then obviously I'll kind of replicate that design here. Um, mm, I really wish these uh, armored conveyors were airtight because then I could place one here and this room would be airtight and then I could get rid of these little things here but unfortunately they're not so yeah that is just the way it is and there's not really too much I can do about that all right so I just need to figure out from here what I'm actually going to place in there so I think I'm just going to go for a relatively simple block here well actually what we need to do is get rid of this catwalk because that's going to be in the way and I will withdraw some components for some interior plates. And I think I'll just place in my standard interior walls here. So just the old ones that have been in the game since forever. Um, it is confusing though sometimes how they've added it the way that they have. And I'll just place one. I could use the sci-fi interior wall. So I could use that. Or I could use maybe one of these sci-fi interior walls so we could do maybe something like that or perhaps like that maybe if I spin it around it will match a little bit better yeah it doesn't look too bad I could even put in one of these blocks here so one of these maybe uh, I thought the corner was going to match up with that refinery but looks like that isn't the case I was thinking even this block here but 
it doesn't really line up with the refinery so I might as well just use an interior wall and the good thing with interior walls is they're actually lighter than the other blocks in the game so all right let's um weld this one up and then we will go ahead and place in our sci-fi interior wall which will be that one and I can do Energy the same critical. ah come on let me squeeze through I can do the same on this side from here though cool and then I just need to do that a couple more times and I finish the refit of this ship so all right I'll see you guys in a moment okay cool so all the modifications are complete uh, well as far as I want to do them at this point in time although I fully reserve the right to change my mind in about 15 seconds um, which I think I am gonna do uh, so I did end up placing this catwalk around um, this pillar here and honestly it was probably one of the best decisions I made because honestly this just looks so cool these railings being around this pillar here yeah I really I'm really digging this look I am getting um, aliens vibes from this whole setup when um, Ripley goes after the Queen um, so I think I'm gonna go a full send and I'm just gonna place a catwalk that goes across here because you know what you can never ever have enough catwalks in my honest opinion so we're just gonna go catwalk crazy and we're gonna place another catwalk here as well so place an end piece there I should probably go ahead and I've got an idea for these two so stay tuned for that um, what do I have on my inventory all right let's get rid of all this stuff and let's just grab the graded catwalks I actually had to move a lot of components into the atlas because it was not withdrawing stuff from my base through the atlas so yeah that was a little bit annoying all right let's um, place our catwalk all the way across like that uh, whoops I forgot about this one and then this one also and then we want one with just a railing on one side like that I really wish they made two by one stairs that are grated that would be kind of awesome although I got to admit I've looked at the one by one stairs for so long in the graded catwalk style that I think they'd probably look a little bit weird right let's see how this looks yeah so I think that looks a little bit better I could potentially put in like a little uh, bit here uh, just to give it a little bit more interest but I don't really like these conveyor ports I like to cover them up wherever I can and I think there is one really good solution to that so what I can do is go ahead and place in some air vents here and I'm pretty sure I can place them there but we will see if I can yes I can place them there so I don't know if they really look that great maybe maybe they don't I don't know let me know what you guys think but it just kind of hides that conveyor port hmm not gonna lie I don't know if I really like that either um, hmm what to do about that not really much I can do to be honest I suppose I could place in maybe a pipe so we could do something like that even though it's not actually connected to anything it kind of hides it a little bit better what else could I place in front of here I could grab a piston part maybe so we could grab a piston part and just place that there and that kind of covers it but it just looks a little bit strange I don't know I'm gonna have to think about that or maybe I'll just leave it and just don't do anything with it and then I can put another catwalk <laughs> I know I know there's enough catwalks here but maybe I can put in another one that goes across here as well so you know we just have yeah my whole purpose is for people to get lost in these catwalks when they build this ship and then they're like ah oh, where do I go all right well hmm let me think about these 
reactor ports and yeah I'll kind of make a decision in a moment about that all right so I think I've come up with uh, well a couple of solutions for these reactors or this large reactor so the first option is I could go ahead and place in a spotlight so we could reverse it like that and then place it at the end there and then it kind of looks like it's yeah this is really good Energy for low. when the reactor is like one block away from something you can put this in between the reactor and the wall and it kind of looks yeah pretty cool um, I was actually planning to do this in the reactor room but I never got the opportunity because of the way that the roof was structured in, inside the base um, so there is that. Uh, the second option I've got is I can put in a small reactor, one of these new ones here. So I can put a reactor in like that. And that doesn't look too bad to be honest, although I already have two of these reactors in the base or in the ship already. So I don't know if I need four. Um, so I could do that. Or the other option is I could go ahead and place in this new neon tube that they added into the game in the last update which was this one here so we could place that there and maybe what I could do is change it to like green or something like that so I might adjust the color here a little bit so increase the saturation and I'll dial down the brightness just a little bit and we could put something like that there and then it kind of hides the conveyor port um, and then also kind of matches the yeah the reactor itself I'm really not sure there's not really much else I can do I, I suppose I could put in one of these blocks here to kind of block it off but then it doesn't really match because it's not a circle there's not really a circular plug type of block apart from a piston part that you could really put in front of here so yeah, I'm just not really sure what to do with it, but I mean, you know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I suppose the other thing I could do is put in one of these heat blocks, um, one of these heat vents. Um, but again, it's like a really squarish block that attaches to the side of the reactor, so not really sure if I want to put that in either. So for the moment, I'll just go with these neon tubes, and that's pretty much going to be what I'm going to go with. So I'll place that one in there. The one thing I am sure that I want to do though, is I would like to, let's head on upstairs here, just before we conclude this episode, I would like to replace these reactors here with the new reactors, in fact I'll weld this up and I will empty all of the components that I have on my person. Alright, so let's grind this down. Now, of course, it probably will have a bit of uranium in it. And thankfully, I have enough space in my inventory to get around that. So, there's my reactors here. So, I'll place in a reactor like this. I don't know which color I should make it. I think maybe I'll make it this color. Hmm. I don't know. Or do I make it black? Interesting. Hmm. I'm really not sure which one looks better. Uh... I might go for black for now. Alright, let's uh, place that one in. Hey, why can't I weld this up? That's a bit of a weird type of hitbox. Um, oh, no matter. And let's pick up this uranium and let's place another one in here like this. Uh, spin that around. And then weld this one up. Alright, cool. So, I think that pretty much concludes what I wanted to do today. There are still a few other things I would like to do to, to the Atlas. Um, so, first of all, as I was discussing before, I would like to add some um, thrusters Energy underneath critical. these tanks here. So, we'll have an additional six thrusters in total, which should hopefully give it maybe another 600,000 kilos worth of um, lifting power on Earth gravity. But that's something I'm going to complete in the next episode. And once I have done that, I will actually release the blueprint or I will update the blueprint for this ship. And then you guys can have a bit of a play around with it and change things how you like. Oh yeah, there was one other ch small change I wanted to make. So um, I'm going to get rid of this conveyor tube here. 
and I'm going to move this the other way around so I just want a conveyor tube and I'm gonna place it like that and then place my catwalk on top of that so that would be this one there we go and so I'll just do the same thing on the other side and then I think I'm pretty much done that actually looks really cool and I might go ahead and change this one here as well not that it really matters it's kind of hidden anyway but yeah I think I may change that one as well so all right guys I really hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you in the next episode of Wasteland Survival if you liked it definitely consider leaving a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe all right guys I will see you next time